À tous de DDO, attention pour le décompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top. Allumage P80 et décollage VV12 Aeolus. La propulsion est nominale. La trajectoire est nominale, la propulsion du P-80 est nominale. The DD, DDO says all is fine on board. You saw Vega take off like a shot. I'm always amazed. It took her about three seconds to cross uh, my computer screen here. Three seconds, rising like an arrow. Surprisingly fast if you're used to watching the Ariane 5 lift off. Ariane 5, of course, raises, raises into the air much more slowly, weighs uh, six times what Vega does, carrying four times as much propellant. Fine shots of her rising into the light clouds. All is well on board, says the DDO. Vega weighing 138 tons at liftoff as she lifts off from French Guiana, beginning the 12th mission in her career. They call her the light launcher at 138 tons, but I guess that's relative. The first stage is burning now. She weighs 97 tons. 88 tons of that are fuel. Most of any launcher's weight is propellant in any system that we're using today. The first stage burns its single engine for about two minutes before being jettisoned. Maybe we'll be able to see that as our camera is tracking Vega, because visibility is pretty good. First stage is produced in Colifero near Rome, then delivered to the French Guiana plant here, where it's loaded with fuel and transferred to the booster integration building. You probably saw some of that on the video on the launcher campaign. And having returned with a big smile on his face, before separation is Martin Caspers. So, oh, how is it? Incredible. <laughs> Tell us. <laughs> you, you see it, you feel it, and all the emotion that comes loose. I, ah, it's great. <laughs> you're, you're laughing. Did no, you, no it's, it's not laughter. <laughs> yes, it's laughter, but also a cry. Did, uh, you, did you cry? Did, did you shed a tear? I nominal. did shed a tear. That's great. What, what, uh, what uh, impressed you the most? The sound, the speed, the light, what? The, the, the light was so bright, I had not expected that from such a small launcher. Mm. I saw the Galileo uh, or the, the, the Ariane launch, but yeah. this was much brighter than I had expected. It's like Times Square out, out there, you can read a newspaper. <laughs> <laughs> All right, very good. Come down and watch a launch, folks, if you haven't already. P-80, first stage separation has come on time. The, f the second stage uh, is burning. We're into the second stage uh, burn called uh, second stage the Z-23, Z for Zephyro. Burns its solid rocket motor for 86 seconds. Avio, of course, responsible for production, integration, and testing of both second and third stages. Vega's launching north, going into a sun-synchronous orbit. Why do we need that sort of an orbit? We need it for uh, Aeolus, for the, for the instrument for Aladdin. Uh, the, we want to have a disk to dawn orbit so that we're always fa in the sunlight. And uh, it's also the best way to measure the wind profile. And the orbit is called, uh, they have a name for it, it's a uh, ball of yarn orbit, right? Explain that to us. It is basically you go uh, north to south pole while Z23. the Earth is rotating underneath of you. And in this way, you peel off uh, the Earth completely. You saw separation of the second stage. We're waiting for confirmation by the DDO of the third stage, ignition of the third stage. Allumage and there you are, right on time. And Et coming up next, coiffe. separation of the fairing. All right on time. We can separate the fairing now because we've made it out of the atmosphere.